give us some yards, but that second half performance, what did you like the most, you know, looking back at what your unit was able to do, especially in that second half? Well, I think the biggest thing was we played much better run defense. I thought overall we were more gap sound. Guys were able to get some knockback at the line of scrimmage, and we were able to, you know, get into the backfield more than we have all season long. And then I thought it was our best game as far as tackling goes. And so th th those are the things that we got something we can build off of. Um, you know, we're still a work in progress. We're still going to try to get that consistently for four quarters and, you know, game after game. But um, we showed glimpses of what we can be. Speaking of that work in progress, last week you mentioned, you know, the farmer and the rock parable. Yeah. How far did you crack into it this last weekend? Yeah, we're still swinging. I mean, we're still saying we played, uh, you know, obviously uh, probably our best game defensively, but, you know, it's still not at the level that we want to be at. And, and, you know, the second half was better, but we started out lousy again. The first play of the third quarter, we got a 75-yard run. And so we, we just got to eliminate some of those mistakes in our run fits and uh, and continue to try to get better with our techniques and, and, and play consistent, good football. And what does that say about your team that you could be down 31-3 and the guys didn't give up and that they, you know, you'd say they played their best defense after that. Yeah, I mean, that that was extremely encouraging, the the kind of heart and character that our guys showed. That's probably the biggest thing, even more than the, the, the technique and playing good defense, the, the, the character that we're down 28 points and our guys didn't give up. That's really something as a football team that we can build off of. And when they show that kind of heart and character that they're going to keep fighting through adversity, you know, that, that, that's definitely something that, that we can build off of from here and, and continue to harness because that, that shows a, a lot of character. In that Wait. second half, did something switch? Did someone say something or things just clicked? You know, I, I don't know if it's one, one thing that was said or done. I think our guys just kind of just kept swinging and, and kept trying to, to, to fight through and, and just one play at a time. And you stack one good play on top of another good play and, and then our offense started moving the ball. And, you know, I, I think it was really big that our offense, after we gave up a 75 yard, took the ball, long drive, went all the way down and scored a touchdown to give some hope to the team. And I thought that was really big. And then the guys on defense just kept trying to put one, one good play on top of another. And that's how we got to play the game. What do you see out of um, Matthew Taco? Obviously, he was putting a lot of pressure on Steven Montez most of the game, but what do you see out of his play? Yeah, no, he's continued to progress and get better week after week, and the more playing time and opportunity that he's gotten, the better he's gotten. And so, you know, he, he's certainly ahead of the curve as far as, you know, we knew we were going to get a good player when we recruited him, and he's done a great job learning the system. He's, you're starting to see the, the work and practice of the, you know, building the muscle memory of how to react quickly in response to blocks and all those types of things, you start to see some of the techniques show up on the on the game field. And that just, it just takes time. Can you talk just a little bit about USC and potentially JT Daniels expect to be back, maybe clear concussion protocol. Either way, what kind of challenges the Trojans present, especially with the mixing of the change of play calling, all that you know, stuff they've done the last couple of days? For sure, yeah. So obviously they're, they're a very talented football team. They've got skill guys all over the field that can, uh, can run and catch and um, you know, they've got two quarterbacks now that are both young but very, very talented. Uh, you know, obviously we're expecting JT to play. They, they said he cleared concussion protocol. Coach Helton said if he was cleared that he would start. And so, um, you know, but Sears played pretty well last week as well, especially in that second half of that Arizona State game. So they, they've got good quarterbacks. And they've got a great receiving core with a lot of talent and a lot of speed and, uh, you know, good good skill at the, at the running back spot. So we're going to have our hands full, and it's going to take us to play our best game to – Go out and get a win. What kind of challenge is it to game plan when the play caller changes the week you play? Yeah, that's you know, you, there's really no way to account for a change like that, and so you know, you, you try to just you know build off the, some of the tendencies that they've had, but knowing that all of a sudden, when the decision maker changes, those tendencies may change as well, and so you just got to try to adapt it and uh, during the course of the game and get a feel for what his plan is and what he's going to emphasize. How do you bottle that momentum from that Colorado game and bring it into this SC game? Well, hopefully we we bring it into practice. And you know, the you know, elation and the joy that you saw from the guys' faces in the locker room after that game were so genuine and real. It was awesome to be a part of. And you know, hopefully for the players getting some validation for the, the work that they've been doing since we got here in January of last year. Uh, you know can carry over and, and, and sustain it that, hey, look, if we just stay with the process, you know, the, we can win in this league. What about Coach Smith's relationship? 
I'm, <laughs> I, I was up in the box. I didn't quite see it, but I'm sure. I mean, yeah, yeah. It, it, just as a you know, as a program, you know, the coaches, the players, you know, obviously everyone was so elated. Anytime you have a win like that, but it'd been a long time since this program has won a road game, and it'd been a long time since we won a conference road game, especially. And so the, to do that and kind of get that monkey off our back, and uh, hopefully we can build off it and go forward. How has that win affected practice? Do you feel like you know? players are a little bit higher this week a little bit more you know motivated. to be honest I think our player the, the the attitude of the players has been good all year you know I mean as coaches you tell you know win or loss you get you know 24 hours to get over it and move on I, you know, I think the guys have brought good energy all year long even when we've had losses and so you know I certainly on Sunday can see when the guys come in there was a lot more bounce in their step and everything like that and uh, we've had good energy this week but I think we've had good energy all season long in practice how do you count for that I mean you, you guys were pretty the Cal game obviously wasn't his best game. Like, right. What, you know, what is, is it a leader or is it a group? Is it Boy, if I could, if I if I knew exactly what it was that made the difference in that, that'd make a lot of money. Because <laughs> there's a lot of people searching for those answers all over the country. You know, yeah. why, why is it one week that you show up and play your best game, and another week that you didn't? But I mean, uh, nice. the, the team. Uh, you said their attitude stayed good after the game, and it obviously showed yeah. off because you won the game. But yeah. what? How do you yeah. account for that? Well, you know, I, I think it's one of the things, part of it's, I, I do think from a, you, a team takes on the personality of the head coach in the sense that Coach Smith's very even keel. I mean, he's not going to get too high, he's not going to get too low. We're not, you know, we're not going to ride the roller coaster of emotions from a win or a loss. And we're about coming back to work and, and, and putting in the work each day with a positive attitude, whether we've won or we lost on Saturday.